Today we are going to be looking at five possible new settings for Assassin's Creed in the future and again these are all speculatory none of this is confirmed but I love doing these videos and you guys apparently enjoy watching them so we're going to keep doing them. So before we start I do want to say thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers I really greatly appreciate it it has been a long road coming but I do appreciate it I appreciate you guys watching and liking the videos and it's just it, it's great for me because I love reading the comments I love everything like that. You guys are definitely super freaking awesome. And the other announcement I want to make is that I was doing a Let's Play series of Assassin's Creed Origins to kind of hype up Assassin's Creed 2020. That is going to be turning into a live stream, so if you want to tune into that, you can. My Twitch link will be down below, or if you are just already subscribed here, or you want to subscribe here to watch those, just do that as well. Now it doesn't only have to be Assassin's Creed, I am starting with Origins. After that we can play Red Dead Redemption, Jedi Fallen Order, any game like that. We'll vote on it towards the end though. So let's jump into this first setting and that is going to be Russia during the reign of Ivan the Terrible. Now Ivan is an interesting case because he's such a polarizing character. He did do a lot of things for Russia such as expel the Mongol Khanates in the area and he also moved them from being just another medieval kingdom to an actual empire. Now Ivan did also have his bouts of rage and he did have things like the Oprichnina, which I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, where he consolidated the power of the nobility in the kingdom and then purged them, which is a little cuckoo in my opinion. But it is a power grab. Now another thing that happened that is kind of a, a negative mark on Ivan's resume is when he killed two of his heirs in a couple of his different rages. He was prone to these rages and in his later years it did affect him greatly. Obviously this did end up in the deaths of both of his heirs which would directly lead to a weakening of the state with the king that would succeed him. Now I do think that Russia is a possible setting because we are heading north with a supposed Viking game so to move over to Russia would not be a great distance and I think keep up with the theme and a lot of the assets that Ubisoft could use for the game. But honestly, we're not going to know this for quite a while. Now another awesome setting that I think we could see would be an Arno sequel under the reign of Napoleon. Now I guess this doesn't necessarily have to be an Arno sequel. At the end of Dead Kings, he does give the Peace of Eden to another assassin and tells him to take it to Egypt, to Al Mualim. Now al Mulum just means mentor, so it could just be the Egyptian mentor, it's not going to be the same guy from the very first game. But we know that Egypt is very important because not only did Napoleon visit there in real life, the setting is also the place where the assassins as we know it were founded. Now, I'm not sure if this is covered in comics or anything, but I don't know if Napoleon actually ever became a full-fledged Templar, but he would be a force to be reckoned with because he was a powerful guy. He did take over a lot of Europe and he had a lot of enemies and for good reason. So even if we don't get Arno going to Egypt, if we get an Egyptian assassin going after Napoleon, I really just want to see that. I want to see how the assassins handle Napoleon and everything that he did. We do know that even though he does get defeated and put into exile once, he does come back and it happens again. So there is a lot of story to be told here with Napoleon and I do think that this could be an amazing story if it is invested in, but the likelihood of this I just don't see it as very high. I think Ubisoft is done with anything and I mean anything related to Unity and that includes the era and of course the characters. The next setting on the list is going to be Colonial London, and I think London, either during the later years of Edward Kenway or during the early years of Haytham Kenway, would be a fantastic setting. Now, no, Haytham traveled quite a bit after his father's death, so uh, semi-spoiler alert, but that was in the books. Now, Reginald Birch would make for an awesome antagonist, and I would love to see this story played out on screen as opposed to just in books but it is a great story and i don't think the general assassin's creed fan is really aware of it now the issues i see here are kind of like the previous setting i think ubisoft is done with this era and also we have already had london in game before with ac syndicate 
Now, this next setting is quite obscure, but I think could make for a fantastic game, and that is going to be Southeast Asia with Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat is a temple in Cambodia that was built around the 12th century under King Suryavarman II of the Khmer dynasty. I think I pronounced that right, or I tried to. I'm not sure if that is the correct way to pronounce it, but buckle up because this isn't going to get any easier. I do feel like Southeast Asia is a bastion of potential for Assassin's Creed that gets away from the cliche of ninjas and samurai. As for Angkor Wat, nearly 27 years after the death of the king who built it, the Chams or Shams, a rival of the Khmer people, sacked the temple and established a new capital to the north. Angkor Wat is not only old, but is also mysterious. No one knows its original name, and it is dedicated to Vishnu, which from my research, and that is quite light research, is pretty uncommon. The temple is supposed to recreate Mount Meru from the Hindu mythologies and be the home of the Divas. Divas are benevolent beings in Hindu mythology, thus giving this temple its great importance. I do think the setting could give writers much more historical freedom for storytelling and give us a unique location that literally no one in gaming is exploring. I don't know the likelihood of this setting, but it would take place just before or during the time of Altair, so possibly a more traditional style of assassin could be seen. The dense jungles could make for some awesome assassination potential, as well as the vibrant and colorful map full of beautiful and deadly wildlife. Now the last setting I would want to see is the American Civil War, and this one is one of the more cliche ones, but I did grow up in Georgia, which of course is a place that is littered with Civil War battlefields. Sherman's March to the South is one of the most famous parts of it, and speaking of historical characters, I think people like Sherman, who even though they were on the Union side, which is considered the good side, may not have been exactly working for the good side of things. I could see Sherman as a Templar for sure. Same with people like Stonewall Jackson who was killed by friendly fire. Who knows if that friendly fire came from an assassin's bullet. There's a lot of different ways to see the Civil War play out. Now I do know that in the comics the Civil War is kind of played on both sides by a Templar who lives in New York. So there is that. Now I do think that if you are going to do a Civil War set game, I think New York would have to kind of be like the boss battle set piece, but mostly it would have to take place in the South, and you could have things where maybe you help Harriet Tubman on the Underground Railroad, and things like that where you can help free slaves as best as you can. The only issues I see with this is it could be very touchy as far as antagonists and some of the language. I think releasing a game like this in America in this time period could be quite touchy for a lot of people and cause a lot of controversy. Now, do I agree with any controversy? No, I think in its historical context, this game would have a great message to send. Like the classic assassin message, freedom and humanity and knowledge over control. That is what it should be. And I think the South being kind of like a Templar experiment could be a very interesting game and setting. But again, the controversy surrounding some of the language that would probably be used in the game would kind of probably stop this game from ever coming out. I do think the actual setting itself, there is a lot of variety in terms of terrain and map design that could go into a game like this. You have things like the Pine Belts in Mississippi and Alabama. You have the swamps like Okefenokee in Georgia, and then of course the Everglades in Florida. There's the marshlands of Savannah on the very east coast, Savannah up into like Charleston, South Carolina, and up even into North Carolina. And then you also have the Appalachian Mountains, which would be nice to see because of the dense trees and everything like that. There's a lot of potential here. The only area I would see issues would be like in the coastal empires where it's very flat, not a lot of terrain, <laughs> kind of open. There are trees, but not a lot of hills and stuff. But like I said, I don't see this game coming out anyway. It doesn't seem like something that Ubisoft would want to go to just because of some of the issues that they probably just want to avoid as far as some of the language and controversies and the touchy subjects that would come up that are still issues in America today. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. This is all pre-recorded as I am on vacation right now, but when I do get back, those streams will begin and I will have more videos for you. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.